And he made the statement, and, and, and I'm going to go back over there with this verse of 1 Corinthians, because here's, he makes this statement here, and I, I've got to find it again. But and when he makes this statement, he says, Let every man abide the same calling where he is called. Art thou called to be a servant? Care not for it. But if thou mayest be free, use it rather. He's dealing with, if you can break loose with this being a servant, and you know you have the ability to break loose from it, he said, don't worry about breaking loose. He said, stay a servant. Don't run away as Onesimus did. Use your position as a servant to honor God. You say, what happened? Dear Nehemiah went before the king. And he had a sad countenance. He was doing his job, doing the best he could. He was faithful to what he was supposed to do. He could have tried to run away. But he went and pleaded with the king. King, would you let me go? He didn't demand to go. He did not demand these things. You will find that every time in the Scripture that these men had respect of those in authority positions. And the king said, All right, I'll let you die. Daniel, the king, said, I don't want you to die in that line, in a line. He come looking for them. Those young Hebrew young men. God honored them. Why? Because they went all the way up to doing everything they could to be submissive to the authority that God put over them without compromising. Now, so the key is for you and I is to find out for you and me is to find out exactly where the line is drawn. And every situation has a different expectation. For the one man, you can go in with your king in the ring that where he worshiping an idol of Rimon, and you just go in peace, go do what you have to do. For another man, because of his situation, Nope, you don't do that. You don't have to. And so we find out you have to discover in your own heart, with your own fellowship with the Lord, you give yourself to Him where He is guiding you as He leads you in the paths of righteousness for His name's sake. When this happens, all of a sudden, we start saying, I know how to meet my responsibilities. I give myself to the Lord. And I give myself for those I want to reach. And I want to reach those who are in government. Who govern us. And I say this again for America. Our government is we the people. That means everybody out there who has a voting right part of our government. And we have a responsibility to pray for them. And when they're putting leadership in government, to pray for them. And then be so patriotic that say, the only thing that I see a problem with is they're serving their God. Is that not the only place they found wrong with Daniel? was in that fact that he was going to serve God. Not in that he was making a scene. Now, I will say this just to make put it on the record. Of the people I know, I know a lot of people have complained. I've not known anybody who is making a scene over what the government has demanded and commanded. But we 
need to be very careful that we just like patriots for the, not the, before we start going about saying, I demand my rights. Ensure that you have fulfilled your responsibilities. Father, I thank you for what you've done, what you're doing in our